Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Leah and I do videos on pretty much anything these days but I started my YouTube journey in 2013 as a beauty channel and I thought what better way to come back, I mean I love a haul and you'll still see lots of hauls on here, um, come back and show you some beauty stuff that I bought. I have not done a beauty haul for a long time. Oh, it feels good to be back. I have already filmed a Beauty Bay haul. I've got a She Glam haul from Shein coming up. I'm really, really intrigued by that brand. I love budget brands and I love budget makeup and I love comparing it to high-end makeup. I have bought some high-end makeup this time though because I got the deal of the century. Are you ready? So I ordered from... Uh, cult beauty actually there's no point in me showing you that because it's only got my address on hold on i'll show you it this way when you order from cult beauty you get this look go on try it now cult beauty um cult beauty are actually a great website they have a lot of high-end things but they also sell nicks so they have a, a a lot of things that you can't find anywhere else they sell a brand that i've been wanting to try for ages which is natasha denona Natasha Denona eye palette in particular and there was one that was being raved about and I thought I must try it however you had to spend 180 pardon me <laughs> however you had to spend 185 pounds and you got a goodie bag well I was not prepared for this so first of all I will show you what I bought I actually haven't received one of the items which was a Natasha Denona Christmas palette which is the uh, Metropolis Mini. Um, I'll put a little insert in here to show you what that looks like. I'm still waiting for that and I don't know when it's going to come. Doesn't really matter because I still got the bag. Um, so I bought a few things that I wanted for myself but also for my girlfriend and I will show you those now. Um, so the first thing I bought, well not the first thing, where's it gone? Oh it's there. Uh -huh. um, I bought this for myself and for my girlfriend to try because I was explaining to her about Molecule 01 as a perfume that it, um, you know, by eccentric molecules that it will uh, smell different on different people, like most perfumes, but it's it's meant to be like the, the perfume that suits everybody. Um, and so I bought a tiny little sample, uh, not a sample, a 30ml bottle of the Molecule 01. There we go. You can see it because the ring light and she loves it uh, so I know what her Christmas present is going to be a big bottle of Monoculo one she loves the scent and it smelled glorious on her she sprayed it once on her wrist and it smelled all day so great perfume um I haven't tried it myself yet so I will do but yes Monoculo one they sell it there this was is there a price list in here? No, I can't remember the price of this, to be honest. It wasn't too much because the 100 mil is 72 pounds. This is the 30 mil. So I feel like it was in like the 30 pound range. Not bad, not bad. You don't need much. So if you wanted to try it, try out that small 30 mil size. The other thing I also got for my girlfriend, she'd been saying she wanted to try it. So I bought the, um, I feel like this is the small handbag size. But it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. Really long name. But she wanted to try it and I use any setting spray. My makeup for some reason just lasts. I think it's because I've got dry skin. I have no idea why. But um, I said I would get this for her and I did. But the two things that I did get, uh, that I did actually receive, are two palettes. And I probably should have watched a few more <laughs> review palettes. Uh, review um uh, videos but I didn't I just went for the ones that I thought looked nice I've not tried this formula before so you know I'll let you know how it goes but I bought the Natasha Denona Zendo palette and the Natasha Denona retro palette which is her newest palette so I wanted to show you these because I mean they are very beautiful to look at oh I'm not going to spend too long on them because this bag is unreal so this is, oh gosh, you can't see it, Natasha, wow, Natasha Denona, oh, Zendo palette. 
I will open it up. I love this. So it is it is a neutral palette on this side with a pop of colour. Essentially, you get a couple of blues, a couple of greens, and then you've just got neutrals. And I don't tend to go for neutrals because I had loads of palettes that were neutrals back in the day. I really wanted to try the formula though, and I thought if I spend this much on a palette, I do wear a lot of neutrals when I'm not playing with colour. So if I spend this much on a palette, I do want to be able to play with it. So I will do a few swatches. Whoa, did you see that? Sorry. Um, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not wait, hold on. One, two, three. I can't work out what you are. One, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like there's seven shimmers. And then there's this other formula that it, they look like shimmers. I don't know what they are. Velvet? I don't know. Maybe this is that cream to powder formula. I don't know. And then there's one, two, three. So there's four cream to powder. I believe that's the formula. And, f okay, sorry if you hear snoring. It's Rupert. Um, and then four powder powders. Mattes. If that makes sense. So I'm going to dip my finger in a few of them uh, because I feel like that's the law when you get a palette. So I have, um, oh, that was soft, okay. So Aura, um, Vigor is a matte, and then I think, oh, oh, that, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, that definitely is a, a cream to powder. So this one is Aura. Can you see it's like a duochrome peachy gold? And then you have, here is Vigor, that is a matte. That matte's really nice. And then this looks like the cream to powder. And this is Mantra. So, wow, that is an incredible formula. So I'm just going to swipe those on my arm. My, oh, by the way, the swatches on my arm left over. So, okay, that's pretty. Wow, wow. They're pretty, aren't they? So that's really, gosh, that would look a really nice, like, forest look. Very nice. So if you want me to go into more detail with some of these palettes, I know these are expensive. So I didn't really buy them for, you know, the aim of um, my audience. However, you know, it's also about value for money. If I really think these are value for money, I'm happy to do some looks or talk about it or whatever you want. I would like to go into some greater detail. Oh, it looks like you can poke them out. Sorry, a little coffin fit there. Um, and then the other Natasha Denona palette is her latest one, which is the Retro palette. I saw Angelica uh, Nickfist, or Angeshka um, Nickfist. I saw her review this, and she just said it was so beautiful. And I was looking at it, and I thought, this is, again, something I'm going to use every single day. And this is the palette. And it's very much in the nude... Um, sort of berry tone palette now Angelica loves color so if she goes for something this neutral and she really hypes it up I'm probably gonna buy it um I love her take on um on palettes and I trust her judgment so there's a couple of colors I think they've got yes you can see it, they look like velvet the ones that are the, the this formula here i don't know if you can see yeah so it looks like velvet can you see that so that's the cream to powder formula you can see it here you can see it where else has got it yeah these two here they've got it i wonder if i can get up dead close so you can see um so i am going to put my finger in a few and there's a couple of duo chromes in here. Now, the the duo chromes in here look exactly the same. Glitz and psychedelic. That one and that. Oh, maybe that's a bit deeper. I don't know. They look the same. So I'm going to take a, a wee swatch of those. And I'll tell you what. Oh, oh, that's soft. That's glitz. And this is psychedelic. They look the same. Okay. So Glitz on this finger has a more gold tone. Psychedelic has a more icy tone. On the eye, I can't see that being very different. Oh, okay. Now I'm swiping them. Um, there's more of a peach. 
and let aha you can see the difference but not much on the eye I, it's a shame she's put two colors the same in there really i mean okay what well, yeah one's got a more gold shift and then the other one's more pink icy pink um however oh sorry that was the gift bag haha <laughs> However, this one is has definitely not got much of an undertone, so that would be a great eyeshadow topper. That would be on its own perfectly fine. But I'm a little bit disappointed that there's two colours that more or less look the same. That is a bit disappointing. I will tell you if they work like that on the eye, though, definitely. Um, I'm just going to take this Rebellion. Oh, this is something else. Um, and then Amara. So the two colours I've just checked, this is... Rebellion, that is a gorgeous burnt red colour. That's the cream to powder formula. But the mattes are still smooth. That one is Amara. That's a great shade. Really great. Whoa. I mean, look at those together. Oh, they are gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Well, I'm going to have a play with this. It, am I going to get lots of different looks out of this? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I'd like to give it a go and and tell you what I think. But it looks like an everyday palette to me. It actually reminds me, gosh, it really reminds me of one of my favourite palettes, which is the Modern Renaissance. Interesting. This reminds me of Modern Renaissance more than Bus Gone Past. Um, Modern Renaissance quite a lot. Does it you? I mean, there's more colours, but shall I do a comparison? Somebody's got to have done a comparison, surely. Surely. Anyway, I can do that for you if you want. But the thing that's most exciting about this haul, and obviously I am waiting for another Natasha to do, uh, and it's just a £5 palette. Um, I'm waiting for that to come. But it was this. This bag is chocker with stuff chocker block so i'm gonna go through it all with you because i honestly couldn't believe what was in here so first of all i have in here a cult beauty bag which says more glow cult beauty lovely bag really good quality um you know who doesn't need a little tote bag in their life everyone needs a shopper love it then also there was, I don't know if it's in here actually, uh, it might be somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to just pull things out because it's just unreal. So the first thing is this kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser face wash. Um, what's it say? What, what, what is this called? Why tea? Oh, youth to the people. So this is the cleanser. Wow. Okay. So you get a pump. It... This is huge. Look, it's full size, not like little minis. And this is the cleanser. Oh my gosh. Start here for healthy skin. This nutrient rich gel is loaded with cold pressed superfood extracts from kale and spinach to effectively cleanse skin. Remove build up in pores and balance pH without drying. How to use wet face first. Put one to some amazing. Great for the shower. A huge bottle. Absolutely huge. Isn't that just amazing? So that's number one. I'm going to put it in the box because I don't want things to get lost. Okay, number two, makeup by Mario. That's a big brand. Isn't Mario? Isn't it Mario um, Kim Kardashian's um, makeup artist? Is that right? I believe so. So this is Eyes, and it's a Master Matte liquid liner. Oh my goodness! Look at this. It's a felt tip liner. <gasps> Look at how black that line is. That felt really nice. Oh, I have high hopes for this. I love a black liner. I wish it was a uh, like a paintbrush. That's very soft. <gasps> Exciting. I'm very excited by what's in here. I honestly cannot believe what's in here. Okay, then we have Biosense. Biosense? Squalene plus vitamin C dark spot serum. Again, it's quite, it, it must be, this looks like a proper, look, proper size. 
That doesn't look like a sample size. That looks like a proper size. <laughs> Ten percent vitamin C in white shiitake visibly improved discoloration. It's got mushroom in there, is it? It's vegan, by the way, just so you know. So I'm going to try that. I've heard about squalling before. So I'll give that a go. I will give that a go. What does it say on here? Um, directions. Mas ma massage one to two pumps onto clean face and neck daily. Dark spots. Um, use only as directed. It doesn't really say anything else. But I'm sure that's going to be fantastic. Then we have, and I won't use this, but I'm sure my girlfriend will. Um, this is Amica Flash Instant Shine Mask. All shine, no weight. That sounds great. I wish I had straight hair, but I, well, I don't wish I had straight hair. I love my hair, but like for the use of products, I do. Um, the, oh, Paula's Choice. This is a full-size product. This is step three, exfoliate. 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. If you didn't know, those scrubby exfoliants are so bad for you, you absolutely shouldn't be buying them. But this liquid exfoliant is perfect. It's got, um, so it unclogs and shrinks enlarged pores. Amen, I need that. Smooths in even skin tone. Lightweight liquid absorbs quickly salicylic acid. Once or twice daily, apply over face and neck with a cotton pad. Do not rinse. For daytime, always follow with sunscreen. So just be mindful that if it's a salicylic, salicylic, is that the word? Yeah, salicylic, salicylic, salicylic acid, sorry. Doesn't that look good? That's huge. It's got some Paula's Choice. And let, let's just be honest here. These products so far are not cheap. Another not cheap, but one of my favourites. The uh, Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Or let's just say what it says. A Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Fast absorbing body cream. Now, I've had a dupe for this in Aldi about... Oh, bloody hell, it must have been about five years ago. Um, and that video is still going strong. Because I talked about it. But I still don't think anything compares... To the smell, the smell is incredible, and it is a very good body moisturizer. So very excited to use this. Oh, let me get the lid back on. This is how many mils? This is seventy-five mil. You can buy this, and I'm sure it's quite expensive, like thirty quid or something, on its own. Uh, okay, next up, Nars, literal Mar Nar Mars, Nars, orgasm lipstick. Hey, who knew there was an orgasm lipstick? Anybody else know? So this is NARS orgasm lipstick. So it comes in this upside down layer. Comes in this really nice matte packaging. Is this a matte lipstick? What are you? What is this lipstick? Um, NARS cosmetics. Are you gonna tell me anything else, mate? No, oh, satin. It's a satin lipstick. Why would it come in such a matte packaging for a satin lipstick? Oh, there you go. There's the classic shade. It's like a peach with a peach with like a gold shimmer. Oh, look. And it's got NARS imprinted just there on the stick. How nice is that? Right, okay. I'm going to give it a swatch. Let's be brave. Oh, okay. Well, I thought that was going to be a lot more. That's really sheer. Shall I try it on? God, that's really nice. That is really nice. Do you know what? I didn't have much hope for that, but that's made my lips look really plump. Why is nobody else raving about this? What? That's amazing. 
What? Go Nars, that's a great... My lips look really big. They're not this big. I love it. I love it. Guys, I love that. Do you know, I'm really shocked. I'm really shocked. Well, there you have it. I was thinking, oh, there's nothing to that lipstick. What a great topper. Oh, hell yeah. Nobody told me about... Why is nobody raving about that lipstick? I feel like that needs a separate review. Let me know what you think. I could do it over the top on other lipsticks. Guys... <laughs> There is a Natasha Denona mini palette. These are so expensive. This is the mini love palette. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Look, a five pan palette. I just bought Natasha Denona, but if I hadn't, look at that. Oh, that is so cute. Get three shimmers, two mattes. And that is one eye look, isn't it? That is gorgeous. Do you know, that's weird. That's coming off pink, but it isn't. Oh, it's a duochrome, that's why. I was going to say it's a bronzy shade, but that is a duochrome at the end here. Gosh, okay, well, that's exciting. You are my true love. That's what the shades are called. You are my true love. That is absolutely adorable. Oh my God, why is that the most cute thing I've ever seen? That is freaking adorable. Gotta hand it to him. And there's a hell of a lot more stuff in here. Okay, so I've just picked up Medicate. Medicate. Love Medicate. Rupert, sorry, if you can hear noises, it's Rupert in the background. So we have a full-size intelligent retinol. This is incredible. So I'm sure this is like their best sellers bag. Don't know. I have to excuse me because I can't remember. This lipstick is incredible. What? I haven't tried a retinol yet and I'm 40 now. So I'm, I'm definitely going to review that. So we've now got, oh, I've got pins and needles. That's what I've got. Um, we've got this Cloud Jelly. That's the brand name. Look, Cloud Jelly. Uh, vegan Collagen and Tremola Plumping hydrati Hydration Serum. Dreamy skin that bounces back. Natural hy oh, hyaluronic acid. Girl, I am all about hy... Oh, wow. So this is a, a sample size. Look how tiny... That's teeny tiny. Look. Against my hand. I'm excited to try that, though. Thing is, I only use a couple of drops per application of hyaluronic acid. So what have we got? Oh, it just says AM and PM. It's just, a, it's hyaluronic acid. One of my favorite products, by the way, hyaluronic acid. Oh, heck. We've got the IT Cosmetics Superhero Deluxe Sample Mascara in here. This lasts ages, by the way. So don't be put off by the size. I've had one of these before. And this is a great mascara. This is great. However, just so you know, it is expensive and there is a dupe in Essence Cosmetics. Their Princess Lash is a dupe. The one in the green tube, I want to say, because there's like a purple, like a, a lavender coloured tube, a orange one. And then the green one is the, the dupe for this. Three pounds or something. But this is good if you're getting it in this goodie bag for free. Well, it's not for free, is it? What else have we got? Marlin and Guts Botanical Deodorant. Oh, oh, that smells delicious. But a botanical deodorant? Is it an actual deodorant? Directions apply daily to clean underarms. Yes, it's a deodorant. But it's teeny tiny, so I'm a little bit confused, not going to lie. Yeah, you can paint that on. Smells amazing. So that's Marlin and Gertz. Goetz? Goetz? Marlin and Goetz. Marlin and Goetz. I'm butchering that. I'm so sorry, whoever has him, whoever is Goetz. I know Marlin's the name. <clears throat> okay. Mario Badescu, Witch Hazel and Rosewater. 
Mario Badescu is is one of those brands that you just see everywhere. I don't hear anything bad about it, but I don't hear people raving about it. I think uh, I think lots of people do get it in calendars and stuff. I'll give it a go. Again, if you want to see reviews, let me know, because I will happily try these things. Um, okay, who are you? Drunk Elephant. Isn't that, like, well expensive? Right, I've got different things here. Uh, Drunk, Ele Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Facial Moisturiser. Oh, so it's a little moisture. Oh, look how... That's a teeny tiny sample. But I know it's expensive, so I'm not moaning about that. It's, some, it's, it's worth a try, right? Because if it's as good as people say then you should at least be able to know by the end of, of this. And what's this going to be, a week's trial? I'll let you know. I'll give you an update on that. Okay, I've got Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil-Free Gel Cream. And I actually have a little thing here. So again, it's a little tester pot. Gosh, we're, we're going to have some weeks of different creams, aren't we? And that's just the ingredients. They're just giving you the ingredients on there. Sample. Yeah, it's a sample size. But, you know, let's have a look what it looks like. It's, oh, hello. Oh, okay. So that's what it looks like inside. Interesting. We will give that a go. What they got? Summer Fridays. I've not heard of that brand before. Let me know if you have. Uh, what else is in here? Okay, we have some milk makeup. Hydro Base. I've heard of this, this Hydro Grip Primer. Again, look how much you get. I know it's a sample, but like, I think that's great because it's a, it's like a deluxe sample. You're not just getting a little packet of it. You get to try it and if you like it, then I guess you get to buy it. <laughs> you know what, Leah? That's the phrase, try before you buy. What a wally. A double dose to hydrate skin plus grip makeup. That sounds delightful, and I've heard a lot about the milk makeup bases, so I'm going to try that one. Uh, oh, oh, there's um, a little thing about Mario, Mario's eyeliner. Um, okay, we're still going, we're still going. Okay, a nice, big, uh, be gentle, be kind, Briogeo Avocado Plus Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. And I know this is a hair product. Briogeo, I've never tried it, um, but I will give this to my girlfriend who has just had, um, we've just been to Turkey and she had, um, oh, what's it called when you get the light colour all the way through? A balayage. Um, and it's the first time she's gone blonde. So she's saying her hair feels quite dry at the bottom. Even though it looks beautiful, she said it feels really dry. So I feel like this is going to be perfect for perking up her hair if you do want a review of this though let me know i'll ask her to review it for us we have our own channel by the way if you want to go and check it out emma and leah happy to, to have you over there i will link it below okay now we have a shine on tower 28 milky lip jelly do you know what i love there's been a lot of makeup in there there's almost a full face like without foundation and without, like, there's everything else, isn't there? There's eyeshadows, everything. Eyeliner, mascara. Oh, this looks so pretty. Look at this. What beautiful packaging. So this Shine On Lip Jelly. Lip jelly? Mm. Milky lip jelly. What? Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Let's have a bit of a swatchy swatch. Oh, yes. <gasps> That's really smooth. That's a nice colour. That's a gorgeous colour. Very, I still, I still can't get over this lipstick, but <laughs> I just can't get over it. It's so good. Never heard of this brand before. Anybody else? Tower twenty, Tower twenty eight. Anyone? Oh, it's got an odd smell, like a just a chemically smell. It's not actually a very nice smell. Okay, then we've got Hair Sweet Hair, Gummies with Benefits, Vegan Gummies for Stronger, Healthier Hair, uh, Serving Size 2 Gummies, 20 Calories, P 
pure and potent, gluten-free, soy-free, GMO-free, sustainably sourced, no co artificial colours or flavouring, biotin, folic acid, FOTI, B12, zinc and parba. I think it's meant to be good for your hair. What is it doing? Like a hair, hair supplement. For, oh, for stronger, healthier hair. That's what it says on the bag. How many gummies do you get? One, two, three, four, five, six. So eight gummies, is there? Six. Six in there. I mean, that's lovely, but is six gummies going to be able to show you? Interesting. I won't be trying those. I think I'll give them to my girlfriend to try. Um, okay, we have, I want to say Mido or Mdo. No, MDO Cosmetics. So MDO Cosmetics, and this is an intense hydrating moisturiser. Anything that's hydrating in a moisturiser is great in my book. Um, yeah, sounds great. Is it a moisturiser for the face? I'm assuming so. It's not telling me that it is or that it isn't, but I think it's for the face. Let me just see if there's anything about that here. No, there isn't. Okay, we've got... Verso Daily Glow with Retinol and Vitamin C. Um, a light day cream. This is Verso 2. Verso 2. That's a nice size. All of these are great for travel, by the way. So if you're thinking about going travelling, again, finally, then give that a go. Okay, I've just picked up something big. Dr. Barbara Sturm Enzyme Cleaner. Enzyme Cleanser. Isn't, Bob, isn't Dr. Barbara Stern like really expensive stuff? Um, a fine grained cleansing powder with vitamin C and enzymes, which is wonderful, but it doesn't tell you how to bloody use it. But what do you do? How do you use it, Dr. Barbara Stern? I think I'm going to have to find out how to use this, but it feels ultra light, but you've got so much powder in it up to here. It is a deluxe sample because it's only 20 grams, but can anybody tell me how to use uh, Dr. Barbara Sturm's enzyme cleanser? Somebody must be able to tell me. God, there's still lots in here. I'm so sorry. Oh, 15 pound voucher. So on top of all of that, you get 15 pounds off. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, and then finally, we've got one, two, three, four, five products left and the zippy bag. So that's, you know, six. Um, so we have East Bar Yuzu and Ginger Cleansing Sorbet, Balm to Oil Cleanser to Melt Away Makeup and Impurities. I'm down for that. Love East Bar products. That's great. We've got Kate Somerville. Again, another, all of these, Kate's Cuticle Total Repair Cream. Oh, this is for face, okay. AM and PM apply a thin layer, if a thin, even layer to face and neck, okay. Give that a go again. These are good weekly things, but I feel like I'd have to use these ones where it's just a week in with my normal skincare regime and just replace them week by week and one thing at a time because if I got any. Um, reaction to anything or I wouldn't know what was working as well so I think it's one of those things so love that and then oh hold on there's actually three more products here so I've got the Dr Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel a patented two-step peel with seven acids to help smooth fine lines minimize the look of pores improve the appearance of uneven tone and texture uh, and there's three treatments in there. Oh, I think I've had these. They were really good. I think I bought them ages ago and I really enjoyed them, but they were very expensive. So I didn't pick them up again. And then we have the or um, Amoravicha Queen Cream, which is another moisturiser. There's so many little moisturisers in here, though. There's so many. I quite like Amoravicha. I think I remember using uh, a product of theirs and really enjoying it. That is a tiny sample. Look at that. That's really diddy in size. Um, maybe you don't need a lot. I'll definitely give it a go. Nourishing, rejuvenating, and instantly flattering. 
The Queen Cream is an indulgent moisture balm to restore skin's youthful radiance. This transformative formula hydrates, plumps and firms thanks to a nutrient-rich combination of precious oils while bioactive microalgae reinforce skin's defences against urban pollutants. After serum application in the morning, warm a small amount between fingertips and apply evenly to the face. Ah, okay. So I feel like this is before moisturiser. Almost like a an oil. Like I use a facial oil, then a moisturiser. So maybe that is going to help. Oh, that's great. And then the final product is a brand that I haven't tried yet. But it's Vive Skin Nova Instant Radiance Primer. So another primer. Uh, and Vive is the Janie, Jamie Genevieve um, beauty brand. Uh, it's cruelty free and vegan. So I wonder if all of them are. Um, she, this is, uh, yeah, just, it says ultra fine pigments. So I want, it's a glow primer, isn't it? Yeah. So I feel like this has got a bit of colour to it. So I'll just show you the brand. So it's very classic Jamie Genevieve. So I will try this and let you know. And that is everything. And I know this is a long video and I apologise for the length of this video. But what an incredible bag. So if you've got any Christmas shopping to do, I don't know whether there's going to be... Whether this bag is going to be available actually by the time this goes up. Let me know if you received it. Um, if it's still available when this goes up, then brilliant. If not, are there any products in there that you've been desperate to try and you really want to try them? Are there any products that I showed you that now you're intrigued by? Let me know down in the comments. Obviously, I love hearing from you, so comment below. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.